battle continues to rage over how to pay for the National Disability Insurance Scheme, new figures suggest there's another shortfall in funding for students with disability. It's believed to be more than $1 billion. But as social affairs correspondent Norman Hermont reports, the federal government says some of the new statistics can't be trusted. Well, Six-year-old Hugo Alexander would rather be at school in the afternoon than at home. He lives with moderate functioning autism spectrum disorder and a moderate intellectual disability and needs a learning support officer to help him in the classroom. When his mother applied, her son received only three hours of support a day. Having the amount of funding that we do have doesn't allow him to attend a whole day, so no, it's not fair. New figures suggest Hugo's case illustrates the huge funding shortfall for students with disability. Recent statistics from the COAG Education Council state there are 468,000 students with disability that receive support requiring additional funding. Earlier this month, a Productivity Commission report put the total number of students who are actually funded at just over 200,000. According to those numbers, 268,000 students with disability are missing out. But there's a catch. The federal government says the Education Council statistics are flawed due to wide variations between states and territories. It really is very disappointing that this data uh, hasn't come to a credible landing point just yet. Closing any shortfall will be expensive. Canberra now spends $1.5 billion a year on students with disability, Advocates say full funding could cost all governments at least another $1 billion a year, probably much more. Uh, so we've got about 600 students. Uh, Those in the school system say the funding gap is real and has real consequences. Unfortunately, it also means sometimes you need to make some harder decisions around maybe uh, access time in the school. And decisions like that mean all day school is out of reach for kids like Hugo. Norman Hermont, ABC News.